Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you a 60% win rate Tristana build with a 64% win rate rune setup. For our runes, we have Hell of Blades, we have Taste of Blood, Eyeball with Ravenous, Secondary Runes, we have Bone Plating and Overgrowth. It's very tempting to go for the um, turret demolish. However, it actually has less range than your auto attack. So when you go to hit the turret, you have to actually get like really close to it, which can put you in a lot of uh, weird spots. This is by far a safer page. Press the attack is still great on Triss. With this page, you're really gonna wanna go for Crake and Slayer instead to get that three procs from the Hell of Blades. With press the attack, typically you go more for a shield bow and that will be your better bet. We're gonna go ahead and start with our E. I don't really wanna shove wave on her early. I wanna be able to poke her down. So I'm gonna hold off on, eh, you know, I may actually get it now. Cause the thing is once you level up your E, then every time you last hit a minion, you're pushing it whether you want to or not. And put my E on her in a second. When she comes up for the next minion wave, my Hellblades is back up. Generally, you only want to use your E if your Hellblades is ready to use. That way. Oh man, I should have waited. Damn. I'm going to have to hard shove this now. I should have gotten a point in my W. It's my bad. Very nice. Hellbids is on cooldown. I'm gonna get word down. Put my EQ on her. I actually want her to take that. Got her. She had no chance fighting Tristana like that all in. It's tempting, but her all in damage with her Qs super super high generally you want to get your w at level two that way you can all in them because you'll usually hit level two before most of your opponents especially if you're manipulating the wave and attacking it because your e shove we got our wave under their turrets good time to back generally on your first back noon quiver is your best buy since we can't afford noon quiver we're just going to go ahead and build as much of it as possible so we're going to pick up the other longsword and the dagger. You can start Dorn's Blade or Dorn's Shield if you need to. That will throw off your first item purchase, whether you're going for Kraken Slay or Hell Blades or press the attack uh, Immortal Shield Bow, since Longsword builds into both of those. Going Dorn's Blade and Dorn's Shield is more out of desperation with Tristana mid than anything else. She's not going to take that. She actually took that. She's dead. <laughs> she took it right into my turret. That's kind of funny. That's what you call a Kali Syndrome. Lee Sin players suffer from the same thing. They uh, they land it, so they take it. Very, very uh, aggressive. Generally, a Kali gets better results out of top lane than mid lane. God, we actually missed cannon minion no <laughs> yeah a calling mid lane's a lot i mean top lane's typically better than mid at least against tris i'll kill this guy yeah it's unfortunate i really wanted to kill him she wants to take a heavy trade with me but she chewed through all of her mana I played Tristana against the Kali top and a Kali mid. A Kali top has more time to chase you mid lane. Even if she lands her thing on you, you can just run her into your turret. What? Is someone actually just teleported? What? <laughs> Wait, why? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what? I'm gonna go ahead and reset. Or maybe just get a Kali to attack the wave in general. Yeah, that's perfect. I can actually trade with her now. Or at least try to trade if she'll let me. Only got off one auto there. She wasted her shuriken though, so I could probably all in her. She's not really willing to step up. There's a heavy fight going on over here. We need, I needed to kill Kled really fast there. Got it. Fantastic. She takes that, she dies. She she actually took that. Got her. 
<laughs> Your W base damage on Triss is insane. 95 base damage level 1. If you land that, it's a free kill. This Akali is a bit of a goose. She's a little too aggressive. We're going to shove this out, then we're going to reset. Oops, missed that one. Missed that one. Got that one. I'm not going to stay for the turret play. I'm really low and I'm sitting on a bunch of gold. I can get my noon quiver and a pickaxe. That plate should still be for me when I come back regardless. And uh, one really cool thing about this build is it sets you up with refill potion, which gives you a lot of power and lane to, to constantly decide things and to come back with advantages. Most uh, mid lane champions will start Dorn's, uh, Dorn's Ring or Dorn's Blade, that type of stuff. So by, no, by you basically getting the refill option, you'll get a leg up in most matchups. And having Taste of Blood's huge on this build setup too. I would highly recommend Taste of Blood with this. She literally can't take that. That's the funny thing, it's even when she lands him. Her invisibility's on cooldown, I can kill her right now. She's standing really far back. Even though I can kill her, I just can't get to her. And she, she took a really nasty trade there. I have a control word on me. I already have one lead though. I'm gonna get well, at least one auto down for that play. Kind of want her to step up and hit me. She's about to hit level six. She, She's gonna hit level six and then she's gonna wanna all in me. We got her really low. She can't fight us now. I still want her to come try to try to fight us. I can, I'm literally blocking Master Yaw from his own jungle right now. <laughs> he can't even come into his own jungle. That's hilarious. I think his blue buff's up too. He's gonna have to walk all the way around now. I'm taking up too much space. Playing things like Trindamir mid takes up a lot of space. The difference is Tristana can secure kills a lot easier than something like Trin mid can because of her jump mechanic. Yeah, she's not going to take it. Kind of surprised that one hit me. She's standing really far back. I'm going to have to wait. There, that's it. She's dead. I didn't even use R. <laughs> I didn't even have to use R, Flash. She just got her R. I think she hadn't leveled it up yet, or she wasn't sure if I was going to kill her. But either way, she kind of paid the price there. Biggest mistake we made this game was uh, leveling up our Q at level 2. That was like weird muscle memory. I don't know why I did that. You're always supposed to get W at level 2, so if you get ganked, or if you want to all in them, or if you need to escape, it's, it's good for all of those things. I'm gonna put our E on the turret, let it blow up on the minions. She still can't fight us, is the thing. Just jump in, jump out, get the kill. On kills, you get your W reset, obviously. And full E charges on champs, you get uh, jump resets as well. Just make sure you have the mana. Your jump's not free. <laughs> But don't don't put yourself in a weird spot where you jump in and you're like, wait a second. Uh, I think that's full turret. You don't typically roam on Tristana. It's typically best to stay in lane and get plates and get solo kills. Even though her roams aren't bad, she has so much free wave push off her E and such strong trading that the risk to reward is better to staying mid lane. I'm going to back at my Kraken Slayer. Next, I'm going to go for my Storm Razor. I'll get my boots as well. There's really no rush to get your Tier 2 boots on Triss. Tier 1 boots will usually be good enough, especially if you're still playing lane phase. If I was going to get Tier 2s, you could make make the argument for me to get it now since I've already taken turret, but she's still in lane. She's in a really bad spot. You don't want to lose your turret mid lane this early. Ping that out for my team. It looks like they're backing anyway, so that won't even matter and like I said there's no way to really freeze on Tristana even if they have minion advantage 
you can slow it down, but eventually, whether you like it or not, you're going to push it if you're last hitting the minions. Clad, Clad already missed his thing. And Master, he's gonna try to tickle me. <laughs> oh gosh, what are they doing, man? In Max RQ second, <clears throat> E first, obviously W less. That's a kill. She's not full item yet. She can't fight us, <clears throat> even if we are low. We have full reign of the map. Their jungle mid and top are all trying to kill us. I'd say Tristan is also a better version of Pike mid. Pike can snowball games like Trist. The difference is, is Trist is a range champ. And uh, I'd say she scales better. Like a full build Triss can typically do more than a full build Pike. So with the way that crit crit works and her attack speed steroid. I think she's really underplayed. We're starting to see her win rate get pretty high. It's nearly at 52% right now. But her pick rate is still only at 1% to where no one's really playing her. <clears throat> I think more people will catch on eventually. She's good in iron, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, challenger. She's literally good in every elo. It's pretty nuts how underplayed she is. Against their team, I'm fat. I could go Berserkers. If you're against the Lethality Assassin like Zed Talon, play to still cap's definitely the way to go. If they're a super AP heavy overall, like if they have an AP jungler like Echo, and since I'm playing against Akali, I would go Merc Treads most likely. But since they have mixed damage and AD jungler and AP mid laner, there's really no benefit. The only time... Uh, but if you are playing against a lethality mid laner, like I said, such as Zed, then you're gonna go plated steel caps. It's gonna keep you alive. Plated steel caps, hard counters, lethality champs. I love that attack speed bonus. I gotta. I can't stay here though. They're all missing. There's. A, okay, never mind. They're all bot lane. They're gonna lose base. This is such a weird game, dude. We're literally gonna solo end the game. <laughs> They're not defending base. No one wants to fight me. They've tried and failed miserably at trying to kill me so I guess let me just end the game here that's fine by me I'm holding on to my Q because I figure she'll show up eventually she jumped to the minion. Yeah, they're, they're literally just gonna let me end. That's fine by me, dude. This'll be a solo end. I'm gonna have to play near the walls. If you're in a really dangerous situation, walls are your best friend on Triss. Wow, they literally surrendered. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, GG guys.